All right. We still got bookings out there. This December will not have a WWE pay per view. How exciting! Good. Dave reported there won't be a WWE pay-per-view taking place, but the reason for that is they have two pay-per-views in January. They're going to be doing WWE Day 1 at the State Farm Arena in Atlanta on New Year's Day, Mm. and the 2022 Royal Rumble will be on January 29th, so they're not doing a show in December. Which, you know, this actually, to me, as a fan, and I am a fan, believe it or not, Although I hate the show like 80% of the time because it makes no sense. But uh, I'm actually somewhat disappointed that there's not a pay-per-view in December. Because I don't know if you guys watch WWE during December. But like nothing happens. It's like, you know, they finish Survivor Series and there's nothing going on until Mania season. Which starts in like mid-January. So there's normally nothing going on in December. And literally the only thing that they do is they like... They build up matches for the December pay-per-view. So there's at least some direction. You take that December pay-per-view out, what are we going to have? A bunch of nothing happening matches building to nothing on television all of December that I got to watch. We'll see how it goes. I'd like to... uh... I'd like to be the silver lining in the dark cloud that you're presenting here and hope that they are pushing towards Royal Rumble. We don't need that show. We don't need a show there. Well, we no, don't Mike, need they're, sh- they're pushing towards January 1. I, well, January 1, that day. I know, but January 1 and the Royal Rumble. And here's the other thing, too. I, I don't know what their plans are going to be for the end of the year. I don't know where they are, but... You know, basically putting it into the cruise control for the last two two weeks of the year to lead into New Year's Day for that company and their families and all that sort of stuff. You know, it was an old school wrestling thing. You know, basically, and I'm saying that every territory would shut down the last two weeks, but they're able to pull that off now. And I think they should do something like that, especially if they're going to make this a deal on January 1st, where it's going to be their gimmick every year. You know, this year it's on what a Saturday. It's not exactly the best night in the world, but you know, in another year or two, it's back on Monday. So. You know, that's if this is going to be a new thing for them, you might as well kind of put it into cruise control until the end of December and just build towards the Royal Rumble. Make it matter more. It's like that stupid pay-per-view that they have, you know, speed bump or whatever the hell it is that leads into WrestleMania. Completely a a worthless and, and superfluous pay-per-view. It needs to get well, out. Well, we still have that January 1st show, so they're not going to spend all the December building towards the Rumble. Not to mention... Well, but build not towards to the mention, season. Build towards the season. They then it's ain't like going to build, build towards the season. I you know, know, but this. they should. They should build towards Survivor Series 2. We're going to head to a break, everybody. When Whoa. we come back, we're going to talk about NXT 2.0, which was better. Yeah. But still, what's the point? Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.